Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, I've been having a great time leveling up and ranking up champions. I've been ranking up so many six stars, and I just finished exploring Act 6. So I have some rank up gems that I can use. So we're going to use one of them right now. And if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, leave it in the comments below. Bet you can't guess. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Nick Fury. That's right. Nick Fury. He's not even awakened. But we're going to take him up. All right. So let's go ahead and use this. Boom. Now. I wanted to rank him up for the longest time and I can't seem to awaken him just yet, but that's okay. Right now there is a skill advancement on again, because there was a skill advancement on during the level up last time. And if you watched my, uh, rank up videos, you know that I took up like three different skill champions. And I would have taken him up, but I didn't explore Act 6 during the last level up. I just kind of, you know, petered out and was like, you know what? I I'll just wait for the next level up. And that's what I did. All right. So Nick Fury, at least to rank two, I'm not too worried about him being awakened or not. I have the 565 awakened, but I do want to have him in position to go up to rank three. Now, I didn't really have anyone else that I wanted to use that uh, rank up gem on. So this was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect timing. Uh oh, we're about to run out of uh, skill again. But, you know, we've been ranking up so many uh, skill champions. So, not surprising. All right. Well, what we're going to do. Since we need the uh, ISO, we're going to open up some, uh, see, we have mutant, see, mutant and skill. So we're going to open up some dual class crystals. All right. And we need the uh, ISO. So, and since there is a skill advancement on, I already know I'm going to need skill ISO. All right. Let's go ahead and we're not going to spin them out. We're just going to quick tap them. Um, I have everybody in here, so uh, except for Namor. All right, good. Um, that's what we want to see. We want to see uh, skill champions. Uh, and they're all going to be duped. Every skill champion in here is a dupe. Um, Namor is the only champion. Wow. Oh, okay. I was going to say, they're going to give it to me again. All right, but that's also skill. So we're doing good. We're going to have quite a bit of uh, ISO. We'll be able to take up uh, Nick Fury. Um, let's see what we got here. He going. Yeah, oh, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more skill. Cable is actually already uh, rank five. So, you know, more on him, but that's okay. Uh, we should have enough right now, but... I may have other skill champions I want to take up. All right, good, good. We will take that. All right, quick tap. All right, what do we got? Give me something skillful. I'll take that for sure. Now that would have been a phenomenal pull, but I already have him. And as you can see, he's now 150. I've been putting six stones into him bit by bit, so I'm happy to see those. Uh, that does uh, give him a little bit more damage. All right, keep going. Yeah, no, you're a mutant. All right, <laughs> one more over, and we would have had another skill. But we should have enough. We should have enough uh, skill uh, to do all the rank ups and level ups we need. Ah, uh, now again, that would have been a phenomenal pull. But he's already there. He's already awakened. More SIGs on him. Doesn't really do much. All right. So let's get back to 
the champions here. And uh, there he is. And we should be good now. Should be good now. Oops, almost claimed max. Trying to go pretty quickly because uh, maintenance is about to hit in an hour. And I wanted to run at least uh, some of my six stars before maintenance hit. Um, I was just too busy, you know, clearing Act 6. I mean, uh, exploring Act 6. But it's all good. All right, that actually worked out really nicely. But I'm going to grab a bunch of skill because with skill advancement, I know I'm going to uh, rank up more skill. All right, so that is it for Nick Fury. And you can see I don't have enough uh, skill catalyst even uh, if I wanted to. But let's take a quick look at him. So you guys can see what he's looking like. There we go, percentage-wise. All right. And, of course, we're not going to go into Nick Fury, but I'll just scroll this up for you guys to see. All right. And I will do a little bit of gameplay on him, but, you know, uh, he's, he's good for damage, even unawakened, but not as impressive as when he's awakened. And the real Nick Fury steps up. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll probably do uh, a little bit of gameplay, but you know, I'll, I'll see. I'll see if I, I feel like putting some gameplay at the end. All right, but uh, that's it for the rank up, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, let's head into Realm of Legends, fight Winter Soldier. But to be honest with you, Nick Fury, unawakened, rank two, six star, is not going to be that impressive, but we can at least see his uh, bleed damage. All right, so let's take his bleed damage, end in a light uh, ending combo. And I am running deep wounds, fully maxed out. But what you're seeing here is pretty much Nick Fury <laughs> at his worst, really, I think. Okay. But I have the uh, five star, rank five, and I take him with me all the time into uh, Lion's War. He is definitely my favorite because of that double life. Now, he'll get replaced whenever I can awaken this guy here. I will take this guy up to rank three, and I will use him in Alliance War. But this one right here, until he's awakened, he's not going to get used outside of Arena. You know, he's got decent bleed damage, as you can see. He's doing good work. You know, it's not like he's completely useless or anything like that. But if you want somebody that's a bleeder, you know, you have other options. But his bleed damage is not bad. Even unawakened. But compared to when he's awakened and the real Nick Fury is out. But he's still a good counter for like Thing. You know. Um, he can still uh, take out Torch. Because of course when Torch is uh, bleeding, he can't maintain that high temperature. Right. Yeah, let's just fire off his special one just because. You know, and he still has uh, some utility, even though he's not uh, awakened. Now, I am running suicides. So this damage that you're seeing here is inflated because I'm running suicides, but I always run suicides. Suicides are not the best to have with Nick Fury, but like in Alliance War... I'm not using him for that many fights, so it doesn't really matter. Now, if you're doing some kind of a long quest, 
that might be a concern for you. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, we will take him up when we can get him awakened. So take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.